Hi ladies, I'm here to share a few of my top tips and tricks for getting out the door fast. I know makeup isn't for everyone, um, and I know not all of you wear it on an everyday basis. I hope these tricks help. I know that when I wear makeup, I feel more confident, and a confident woman to me is a beautiful woman. Please know with or without makeup, you are gorgeous, and that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I hope you enjoy. So my first tip is skincare, is taking great care of your skin. If you take great care of your skin, you are less likely to need a lot of makeup to cover up those flaws and blemishes. I um, think the earlier you start, the better. So first thing is cleansing. Make sure you're cleansing your skin every night before you go to bed. There is so much dirt and grime that just gets on your face from pollution and just daily life, not to mention if you have makeup on. There are studies that show you will age seven times faster if you do not wash your face at night. So finding a good cleanser you love, using it, washing your face every night. Then the next step I have is using moisturizer. Um, a lot of people skip this step and it's special, especially important in the winter and summer months when the climate is changing and our skin is feeling that more. So using a daily moisturizer, I use one every night and in the morning. There are some very inexpensive things out there that you can use, um, coconut oil being one of them. This is a great universal product you can use actually as a makeup remover and you can use it as a moisturizer. You can use it in your hair as a deep conditioner. There's lots of uses for that online, so check that out. One of my favorite things to use to get a nice even um, complexion is concealer. I have dark circles and blemishes and so I like to use concealer to help conceal those. So I'm just taking a little bit of concealer, warming it up with my fingers and making sure I get in the inner eye where I get really purple and kind of blending it down in an upside down triangle. This really helps brighten your eyes and make them look more awake. And then I just use leftover concealer on my blemishes. Here I'm just going in and applying some liquid foundation. Well, one of the keys of great makeup application is making sure you have the right tools to um, apply your products. Next, we're going to warm up our face now that we have a nice even complexion with a little bronzer or blush. I personally am a big bronzer fan. So the key with bronzer is going along the hollows of your cheekbones and then up around your forehead and down your jawline. We call this the three and the E. So you're making a three on one side of your face and an E on the other. And then I like to take a little bit more and blend it down my neck. And this really warms up your face and adds just some natural depth and dimension to it. So now we have our base face done. We've covered up any areas of imperfections. We've added a little color back with some bronzer or blush. And then we move on to eyes. Now finding a good color that will complement your eye color is the next big step. If you have questions about that, please ask me. So eye makeup can be so fun because you can do so much different stuff with it. Here I'm just starting with a nice base cream shadow as a base. You can wear this color alone. Um, it's just a nice nude color um, or you can add other colors to it. So I'm going to use a palette. If you can find a palette that you really love and complements your eye colors, it makes getting ready so easy. Um, so I'm just taking a medium brown shade and a fluffy brush and kind of just blending it up onto my brow bone. I like to use a flat edge because I have deeper set hooded eyes just to make sure I don't pull the color down too far. Um, and this helps make my eyes look more open and wide. And then I'm just bringing a little bit of color down along my lower lash line just to kind of make the look flow together. Then I'm going in with the, a gold shade and I'm just going to, and it has a little shimmer to it. So I'm just going to place that right over your eyeball and that kind of helps make your eye look more awake. Then I'm going to go in and line just um, along my upper lash line with a black liner. And then I'll also drag that down along my lower lash line, kind of in the waterline. And you can see how quickly I just did a very simple eye. It's nice and neutral. And then I'm applying mascara. And one tip with mascara is to make sure you're doing the top side and bottom side of your lashes. Just make sure those tips are really coated well. My final tip is taking care of your lips. You can apply something just easy like chapstick to help keep them moisturized. Or if you are wanting a little bit more of a vibrant look and you do a simple face, a quick face, just putting on a lip color that's bolder can really change your look. I'll show you. I'm gonna use just a bright lip gloss. And 
And you can see how just putting on a bright lip gloss really makes me look more done up than I am. Hope these tips helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me.